a lot of questions from a number of you about the Tai Chi cultivation postures. So I want to break things down in a simple manner as follows. Start with your feet parallel as you would be in a regular Zanzuang stance. Okay, so here you step back, pick up your foot, and place your toe where your heel was, which will roughly be on a line with the heel of your front foot. At that point, turn out, and at this point, fold the quad back in while opening the back quad. Suspend or let the hanging basket occur from the psoas muscles. Everything here, the two bones lined straight up with the foot. This claw open, this claw folded and closed. The front arm is placed with elbow bent at a 45 degree angle here facing the center line. The back hand is placed roughly along the center line of the torso or a little behind. And we have this effect. As you turn further, as space opens up, you'll want to bring your hands further forward and further backward. And as you go too far back, the hip will pull off, so we want to avoid this. The way we avoid this is when we feel space in the back arm, we release from our spine and sacrum straight down and around to the outside. This will counter, act like a counterweight, we get something like this. Here, we use Zong Ding, the weight is 50-50. When we're ready to switch to the back posture, we can put our arms down, put our hand here, and pivot, and also turn the back foot out if necessary, so that the bones now are facing this direction, but the back is also straight. Here, we can raise the hand, elbow over knee, elbow bent, pectoralis minor and major relaxed, the back arm on a higher plane, the elbows will be higher in the back, roughly along the center line of the body or slightly behind. Here, the back claw is folded and energy and the wrapping occurs from the yin to the yang going on up from the earth energy lifting into here, an incoming spiral and the front leg is the outgoing spiral coming through the back and wrapping around going down, lengthening, going out, coming in. These two balance each other. Here from the side view. Shift the weight to the other leg. Step back. Turn your foot out. Fold the quads so that the bone, both hip bones, iliac crests are facing same way as big toe. Here, the arm come up and the other arm come back. And we switch position, put your hand in the claw and reverse. Fold the back claw, turn foot out if needed, and open the front claw. Be careful as you turn that you do not take the knee with you. The knee needs to stay in place and actually open outward. At that point, you can raise your arm into the back posture, but still, I call it the back posture, but we want to keep our weight 50-50 until this naturally divides as the central channel opens up and empties out into the left and right. So shifting the weight, stepping back, turning the back foot out, folding the claw in in the front and keeping it open in the back, keeping the knee to the outside. Again, if you go too far, notice my hip will pull off. We don't want that, so start in a very relaxed position. And then, as you have space here, open it up. As soon as you begin to feel any tension in here, come back a little bit, and then from your center line, relax out to counterbalance it, to counterweight it. At the same time you relax out, relax the other side, out to its side, so things are going apart. Our weight is 50-50, and we get this. And when we pivot to the back, we line the bones up this way, the back is straight. The weight is 50-50, the front hand elbow over the knee, back hand a little higher up along the midline or slightly behind the midline of the body. 
once your body begins to open up in this manner, you may want to lengthen the stance. Still here, you keep roughly the width of the hips the same and step back more into a stance that you might use, let's say, in the middle frame of the, the yang form. When you do this, we still keep our weight. We fold the front claw, everything else is the same. Open the back. We keep our weight still 50-50. But the, here is a trick, because the weight will naturally want to go forward as things open up. So what you do is you keep your sense of weighting of front and back between the back of the front heel and the inside of the front foot. So in between the feet, and as you do that, you will begin to create a tensile root, which will help propagate these spirals. Once again, the folded qua in the front leg of the yang posture. The spiral comes from the inside of the foot from the yang, from the yin to the yang, wrapping up and coming up inside. The back qua, which is open, comes out the back and wraps around in this manner and lengthens downward. The heaven spiral downward out and earth spiral coming in. Then these reverse when we step back or we sit back. And now we have an outgoing yang spiral coming out the back of the front leg and an incoming yin spiral coming into the folded claw of the back leg. Simply keep your weight on the inside of the back leg, back foot, and the back of the heel of the front leg. So we have the in-between space feeling like it's stretching out, and this is gonna create a greater root for you right away. Again, as this happens, you begin to feel the spirals as you keep your attention in your center and the weight will naturally shift more like your form, slightly back toward the back leg here or slightly further forward toward the front leg. It's recommended that you do the shorter 50-50 stance and keep things very similar to the way they were with Zhang Zhuang. So for a method of practice, you might stand for five minutes in a basic stance and shift the weight. Use the left leg first, let the heart chi sink. Step the right foot back one, turn the toes out, pull the quad, and align up the hip bone, open the back quad, folding. Incoming spirals, outgoing spirals. The weight is in towards the back heel of the front leg and the inside of the foot on the back leg in this posture. That stays the same when we shift. Weight is between the heel in the front and the inside of the foot in the back. So after you have done basic stance, you're going to step into the first position for five minutes, then shift to the second position, and then switch feet. Five minutes here, five minutes here. Afterwards, it's wise to come back to the original normal uh, Zanzuang posture to let the natural matrix begin to reoccur and realign the body. So we would simply keep shoulders and elbows completely relaxed and simply fold the forearm and that's where we hold the ball. This is a very, very relaxed posture and this will help to bring things back using five or ten minutes at the end.